हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक गैस सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डन दिस कैलकुलेटिंग एक्यूरेसी ऑफ मॉडल ऑन वैलिडेशन सेट इफ यू गाइज आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो दैन प्लीज वॉच दिस प्ले लिस्ट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग सो अप टू हियर वॉट वी हैव डन सो वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड और डेटा सेट फ्रॉम गूगल ड्राइव वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड लाइब्रेरीज वी हैव डन डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग ट्रेनिंग इमेज प्री प्रोसेसिंग वैलिडेशन इमेज प्री प्रोसेसिंग वी हैव ऑल्सो बिल्ड और मॉडल एंड then we have compiled and record the training history and we have saved this model in h5 format here i am i have saved this model and this is our uh, this training history dot history will return the dictionary of the key values of loss accuracy validation this one and with respect to number of epochs so we got these things then we have recorded this training history in json file and we at last we calculate model accuracy achieved in validation set okay now we are interested in visualization of training accuracy and validation accuracy so let's create one text entry and write here accuracy visualization accuracy visualization okay now first of all i am going to do a training visualization so let's create here and write here training visualization so in training visualization first of all we have to um, create one list so let's create one list of epochs and in list use list comprehension technique because in x axis i need number of epochs that's why i am creating a list having values from 1 2 3 4 up to 30 okay so i'm using list comprehension technique to create a list of 30 okay So I'm using for i in range of one to thirty one. So we have successfully created our list. So if you see this, then you will get here. If I'm I'm printing here epochs, then I will get list of thirty. So here I am getting list of thirty. Okay. So we got our list. now we have to just pass the accuracy so let's pass here plt plt why i am using because plt is this one this one matplotlib.pyplotsplt so i am using this plt okay so let's pass here plt and in plt matplotlib use this plot function and in plot function in x axis i am going to pass epochs this epochs list of epochs from 1 to 30 and in y axis what i am going to pass is the training history training history dot history i am using training history dot history will give the dictionary as we have already seen here the training history dot history will give dictionary i am interested in value of that accuracy key okay so just write here accuracy it will give training accuracy okay training accuracy on all 30 epochs and use color here red let's run this so here i am getting on 30 epochs i am getting the training accuracy which is this one okay so this is our training accuracy and uh, if you are confused that how we are how we are writing this thing then if you run this code then you will understand what what is happening here if i run this code then you will see a list list of accuracy varying from at one epoch i am getting this accuracy two epoch i am getting this and at 30 epoch i am getting this so i have plotted this all 30 epoch on y axis and all this 30 1 2 3 4 up to 30 epochs on x axis this 30 is the number of epochs and this is the corresponding accuracy of training set so this is that thing so we got our accuracy now we have to label this plot so just write here plt dot 
x label what is this x axis so i'm writing here plt dot x label on x axis right apex okay and plt dot y label and on y axis right here training accuracy and what is the title if you run up to here then you will see here training accuracy here it is apex or you can write number of apex so here you are getting number of apex now we have to use here plt dot title what is the title of this plot so title of this plot is visualization of training accuracy result training accuracy result okay just write here plt dot show and this text one will be disappear so this is our visualization of training accuracy result and this is that visualization similarly we have to repeat for visualization of validation accuracy so for that create here text entry validation accuracy okay and we already have this apex okay so we don't need to create that apex again just write here plt dot plot just write here plt dot plot and use this apex and second parameter that is this is one is x axis of that plot and in y axis i need training history training history dot history and in in this one i am interested in value of this key val accuracy key okay because val accuracy key consists of all 30 apex validation set values so just write here val accuracy this is val accuracy and i want this color to be let's use blue so if you plot this then you will get this this is the accuracy of validation set from 25 apex it's almost above more than 0.8 okay now just label this plt dot x level plt dot x levels number number of apex plt dot plt dot y level validation accuracy validation accuracy plt dot title i need what is the title of this so title will be visualization visualization of validation accu accuracy result and just write here plt dot show so i am getting this number of apex here validation accuracy here and visualization of validation accuracy so we have successfully done the visualization of validation accuracy also so what we have done so far first of all we have imported our data set then we have imported the all the required libraries here i am not using numpy so remove this one okay so we have used this and then we have done training image pre processing validation image pre processing then we have build our model and then we have compiled our model and recorded this training history we have saved this model in training trained model dot h5 file and we also understand what is this training history dot history will do so it contained the dictionary of history okay and the key values of loss and this accuracy contain training accuracy and this validation accuracy contain validation set accuracy we also recorded that dictionary file in a json file okay and we also calculated final model accuracy achieved in validation set we have also done visualization so that we can see what is the variation of training accuracy with respect to number of apex 
and we also we have also seen the validation set accuracy with respect to number of epochs up to here we have done so in next video we will load our model and we will do a single prediction we don't need to perform these training process because it will take a lot of time we will directly load this model and we will do a single prediction so that's all for this video we'll meet in next video thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video Thank <laughs> you.